Bum, 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 bum. Chatty Chatters! Hello! Welcome to a uh, surprise stream, everybody, of Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. I actually saw this game, I think, during the Summer Games Fest last year, and probably again at the Game Awards, maybe a Gamescom or whatever. It looked pretty cool, though, and it just finished downloading. Uh, the devs sent over a key, and I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of wanted to play this one. And uh, so we'll be playing that today. Um, I know there's a lot of new stuff this week. We've got a uh, new campaign for Warno. We've got Skull and Bones out. We've got Helldivers. There's so much to play. And so we're taking first looks at things that seem pretty cool and extendo looks at stuff that we're really enjoying, especially with our friends. So welcome back. Good to see you all here. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Yeah, it's not a sponsored stream or anything. Some people were asking. I, I saw a lot of people actually uh, doing sponsored streams on this one, which reminded me of it. I was like, oh, yeah, I want to see that uh, that game. So... Uh, it looked cool though. So we're just gonna we're gonna just check it out, see what it's all about. Apparently, it takes place in like the 1600s or something, 17, uh, some, something like that. Should be a good time. So whatever happens, it'll be fun. So welcome back to the fun zone, y'all. You've made it to the fun zone. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much for subscribing, hanging out, being awesome. Hope you're all having a good week, and soon to be a weekend. Uh, let's see. Set in a place known for. Proverbial intolerance. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stream is brought to you by our love. Yes. Oh, cool. I'll be playing with a mouse and keyboard, I think. But I think this game also is playable with a controller. But um, well, I'm getting uh, I'm getting vibes of uh, Hellblade for whatever reason. And we'll turn up brightness a little bit for everybody. And we'll leave that alone for now and change it later. Night mode. Oh. I'm starting to see a lot more of that. That night mode or midnight mode. Where it changes how the sounds work. This looks cool. Oh, what a cool intro screen. <laughs> I love splash screens like that. They did a good job with that. Very nice. Okay, let me make some changes here to some stuff. And we should be good. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Cool. Well, welcome aboard again, everybody, to our first look at Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. Good stuff. This could be the thumbnail for the video, for sure. Yeah, this beautiful mountain and stuff. I don't really know much about this game other than that it's like third-person open-world combat, so we'll see how it goes. Or, well, y you'll see what I mean. Let's begin. Story easy, normal, hard, very hard. Difficulty modifies enemy damage, health points, and the amount of... What? Decoctions? You can recover after encounters. For players who wish to enjoy a balanced experience of story and combat. I'll take that. I want to enjoy both equally. Cool. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. 
low over the sea. Uh oh, 18 plus. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Hell yeah, brother. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of Ooh. humanity, the dead have lingered. The hell? Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Whoa. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. What class ship is that? What level are you in Skull and Bones, dude? We need to talk. We should team up. New Eden, June 7th, 1695. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Oh, it's raining. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Oh, we're playing now. So we're like ghost hunters or something? This is going to be like Bloodborne. Or something like that. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Emma? Is giving you Harry Potter vibes, Stepford? 
Interesting. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. The Vinyl Rabbit. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, dude. Well, there's a down tree. We won't be able to... Uh... Oh. We were able to crouch. That's got to be a first in gaming history. Is this a quadruple A title? The amount of technology that must have went into that. You know I'm looking for loot too. Here. Sure. Oh, that's that's what loot looks like. Through the rotten, falling down house. Lilac and shovel. We're gonna make potions. Looks steady enough. Can I come? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. I can break my way through here. Uh, break through what? I thought I was going to grab the ladder and then go up on the roof, but I guess not. Oh, maybe through here. Yeah. Oh, we got a sword. That's cool. I know that must have been a first in gaming, too, where characters get split up by something collapsing. There's going to be a ru running jump. Can't really jump. like that. I got you. I know this game's got capes too. It's like Helldivers. Oh boy. Speaking of hell. I could beat you in my sleep. Oh, that was cool. I can burn him with a torch. Oh, middle mouse to lock a target. Okay. Everything all right down there? No, just, just learning. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? I was, I was right clicking, hopefully, to parry, but we'll have to learn that. There might be a parry repost system. We'll see. Ooh. It's like a spinning heavy attack. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now the right right click is just a big heavy attack. Leather plus four. Oh, that's got to be for crafting. That's a crafting item for sure. <sighs> oh, more wanderers. Behind you. Oh damn. Nice job, bro. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. What is that, a mutant? Uh, some sort of, like, ghosts or something. Spirits of the past. Hey, boys. 
Attacking with your weapon fills the Banish Gauge. When the Banish Gauge is full, press E to banish your targets. To the Shadow Realms? Time to leave for Down you go. Oh, that's what he did. Now, I heard this game actually has, like, different ways you can play. Like, you can banish ghosts. And it'll, it'll give you, like, different endings or something. Like, you can choose how to play. Like, you can be... Like, basically mean or, or good to the ghosts in a way, or so, something like that. That's what I heard. Oh yeah, she did. Oh, hi there. Hold right click to charge. I don't know how to block though, I want to block. Mmm. Is that Kool-Aid? I love Kool-Aid. Oh, Ecto Cooler flavor. Eats regular water. Do I usually like ghosts? A Casper is good. And I like ghosts from Call of Duty, so... That all is badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Did he come out of the ground? Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Or maybe he jumped down. Yeah, our tier 2 healing item is Capri Suns. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. Other town selectmen sitting on their arses. Isn't that what selectmen do? Selectman. Choice boy and select man to the rescue. When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. Uh, of course. People who fear pestilence or disease, or both. Well, how very biblical. Okay. Fort Jericho, the Harrow's Hamlet, Boston. Boston? Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. If they burned their crops and ran out of food, then they probably ate the horses. Hmm. Giving me, like, Resident Evil vibes at the start here. Like, village. New Eden Town. Yeah. Oh man, I can banish ghosts, but there's no pa no possible way to get around this overturned cart. If only there was some way to move these two light cages out of the way and continue on our way. But there's no spell powerful enough for that. Susanna, the path is blocked. Don't even try it. It's like way too hard and stuff. We're all probably going to die, but the path is blocked. There's no way. Goodbye. I love you. Okay. People seem desperate to flee town. Stay on your guard. <laughs> That's just the tutorial area. They're just setting up the story. It could open up later. I, I, I don't know how this one plays. We'll see. Well, we just discovered this town, so I could imagine it'll be... Oh, oh yeah. There you go. There's your open world-ish. Looks like the map eventually opens up. 
inventory. Evolution is locked. Chronicles. Oh, this must be like... Oh, it says followed. Oh, are these... These might be quests we can follow, or... I don't know. You're welcome in committee. Is this a demo? I don't Let's think so. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. Let me check. No, this game came out yesterday. Yep. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you like children the sanctity of marriage? Ooh, we're gonna investigate stuff. Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. I, I remember you telling her. Okay, so we reached our objective. Have a look for the inn. Well, can I just loot anything? Because... Because I kind of want to. Love the creepy, uh... Oh, ma'am. Look, we're looking for the inn. If we could ask you for a... Ma'am. You must have gotten bored with me. Very offensive. Ma'am, I'm from YouTube. We're creating content. Can I ask you a few questions? You'll be the banishers, then come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Antea Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? That woman is a voice actor for Anno 1800 as one of the farmers. I love that. Uh, where's the inn, ma'am? Could you point us to the tavern? We're expected. The King's Arms. I'll not point it out to you as I disapprove of drinking. It's the large building next to the gallows. Okay, thank you for pointing it out to us, ma'am. And what do you do here? What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Thank you, ma'am. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. I was thinking maybe we could pick that lock. Oh. Uh, what's over here? Gotta be loot. And there is. The inner goblin succeeds again. Hoof fungus plus four. Guys, we got hoof fungus. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Yes. What's hoof fungus? What does that do? A silvery gray and bluish mushroom shaped like a horseshoe grows on tree trunks. Can be found in the dark woods region or bought from merchants. Oh, okay, we're going to be... So this is kind of like a survival crafting a little bit. A little bit more than like Resident Evil where in that game it's usually just chat with the merchants. And they have like only certain things you can get from them. Everything else is acquired in the world. But it looks like this has both. This is cool. Off to a good start. Getting cooler. Sir? I need to ask you a few questions, sir. Alright. Get out 
out of my way. Okay. No food here. Huh. Must be an old FUD Wreckers that shut down. Warning. The docks are closed for sabotage by fire. All trade to Boston, Marblehead, Salem, etc. is cut until saboteur is caught. Oh, is this all about the Salem witch hunts and stuff? This is going to have like ghosts and witches and stuff and then this could be really cool then. It's 1695. When did the whole shenanigans at Salem go down? The 70s, 80s? A couple of years ago? Got to be some booty on the docks. Oh, I think I see it. Give me. There we go. That would actually be really cool, though, if uh, Resident Evil went back to, like, the 1600s or something like that. And kind of had like a Resident Evil vibe or something. I mean, uh, uh, something like if it looked like Elden Ring or, you know, Bloodborne or whatever, but it was Resident Evil and played like that, but had like big castles and stuff, that'd be cool. Resident Evil's already basically doing that anyway with all the old school castles you have to go to in Resident Evil 8. All right, well, I'm glad we're grabbing these crafting items. Can I go down there? No possible way I could sneak by that open space there. Well, it was from uh, 1694 last year. No fire starts on its own. Not in this cold. Something must have given a helping hand. Oh, yeah. This place is actually quite big. There's like a huge, huge dock there. That's for some mighty big ships. Is the game more Elder Scrolls or more Resident Evil? It feels more Resident Evil at the moment. More so than Elders, like Elders, or yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Cemetery docks and inn. I didn't even see the cemetery. Well, let's go to the inn. We'll look around a little bit later. So that's got to be here or there. That looks like it. There's the inn. We are just in time. Meeting house, schoolhouse, dock, cemetery. Are these side quests? Path to the meeting house is closed by the governor's decree. Curfew. In hours of darkness, stay in your homes. No discord. <gasps> Not even like Skype calls or anything? This guy's evil. Even like what, AOL? Like I am? No MSN messenger? Or no turmoil? Governor F. Haskell. A curfew? But why? Uh, the first resort of every self-respecting oppressor. Cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Hmm. The inn. Doesn't shouldn't it have a funny name? Oh, this place is horrible. Leather three. City Skylines American Colonies DLC. Now that would be interesting. 
I would really like to see a modern city builder be modified to where it's more like Anno 1800. That would be amazing. Some more loot. Ooh, pyrite. Pieces of eight. And leather. Hello, sir. Ma'am. I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. I see. She pushed me right out of the way, too. Oh my god, Thomas Jefferson, it's you? Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume... Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her, and rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners, or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Yes. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Hmm. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. He died in the cemetery? The hell? What do, you, what do you think happened? What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles' unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and Demonologist. Does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. 
I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. What about the curse? What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. Hmm. What do you think caused Thimble the curse? Winter? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right. For Charles. Why is town so empty? Very empty. Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Well, no one could escape. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I dark do woods? not. I believe we must stand our ground. We're gonna go into the dark wood? Uh oh. Gathering mushrooms in the dark wood. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. Mm. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Yeah, that's some heroic work all around. Heroic work all around. <laughs> Indeed it is, Classic madam. politician Indeed into demonology. Is. Well, it takes we one to know one. We all the same. Because we must... Right. Because we must. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. Ooh. I'll be here if you need me. They got books in there. Do me some learning.
So we couldn't just stay here at the inn, the building designed in order to have people from out of town stay and have food and a, a, a place to, like, you know, go to in between stuff. We're going to stay at the old creepy ass schoolhouse. Oh, they did a good job detailing this inn. Town hall meeting. Sorry, it's getting a little, a little cold in the stream. Anything else he'll tell us? Governor? How may I be of service to you? Bye. I'll go now. I'll still be here if you need me. All right, time to go, I guess. So some shenanigans are going on. Damn it, Charles. Those are cursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. I know. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. All right, is this the schoolhouse? All the buildings look exactly alike. Fairfax is a good actor. I think so too. And here, Red. Come in. Do our choices have an impact? I I heard it does in combat, depending on how you banish ghosts. But I'm not entirely. Sure. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. Mm. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Yeah. Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. In his office, okay. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. 
Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What about the governor? What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles' interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but yeah. I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Mm -hmm. Charles thought so, too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said. That time and God have not yet healed. I see. Is the game good? Uh, well, it's very interesting so far. They've done a good job with immersing us into, you know, 1600s, uh, like Boston and areas around there. It certainly feels dark. They've done we'll a good job with a that. Look around, if that's all right. Crazy Carl, thanks for the 25 months as a raptor egg, dude. Yeah, we're just getting started. Where that's do you right. Have any help? Mm -hmm. Stay put. We'll find the way. Oh, we gotta do a little, uh, little investigation. Hints and intent. Intent. Okay. Go do some. Uh... Well, they did mention that this was like equal part story game and combat. So for as many combat sections as there are, there's a few things we gotta like look around and and read. Bro, this guy has notes Where everywhere. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor. The schoolhouse. Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but the long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For all time's sake. Of course. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Yes. Story rich and lore heavy. Uh huh. It seems to have that. They've already mentioned demonologists and ghosts. Charles and... is still here, and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It I must be unbearable. I think what we're doing here is we're he heading into a heavy lore section, and then right after this, there's going to be a lot of combat. A brooch worn by Charles Davenport, engraved with a distinctive three-hilted sword. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Broke. Nothing's moved. She didn't get a chance to write off the Esther letter. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Yeah, the governor Esther closed the cemetery. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made it manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. Oh, is this going to work a little bit like the, um... The, uh... Sherlock Holmes games a little bit, maybe? Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go to... Where do nightmares come from? The 
brooch was like the biggest clue I think we got so far. Sir. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. What is that? Bro. The devs got this map so wrong. Look at this. Th this is literally unplayable. How could they have gotten it this wrong? Wow. I can't even tell what this is. That must be South America. That looks like Europe. More of Europe. That's Europe as well. Africa. And then more Europe. Uh, he comes to me in my dreams. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, yep. you dropped found. something. Hmm. Guys having a lot of dreams, like the governor mentioned. So is this people going crazy because these of notes these are dreams? erratic ramblings? Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles's ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. Oh, we gotta go to the cemetery now? Remember when he started to wear these? To look wiser and older. <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Mm -hmm. When I first met Charles, he was reading his Bible in a noisy tavern. I was drunk. He pretended not to notice. Precious king from a chess set, protected by a glass dome. Why? That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Hmm. I read that too, didn't I? Yeah. Hmm. There's certain phrases here in certain books. That could be like a passcode or something. Okay, ma'am, well, we're going to go to the... Hold on. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days, I lack the heart to play. I can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. Wow. Are you buzz. Thanks for the 13 months. We need months. to investigate the cemetery. Bro, this dude is into books like, whoa.
This is Charles's. Esther, you know we can help you sort through things around the house. I don't know that I'm ready for that. But I'll keep it in mind. Okay, bye. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Poor lady. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Well, we're not really helping Charles. We're kind of helping his his widow now. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Combat. That's what that means. Be careful. Aye. You too. Okay. Well, that is awkward. Press the cut. What? Hell, and no way in hell I'm moving my hand over to hit the... Like the punctuation key. Are you crazy? I just hit tab. Oh, there's a shop. Cool. So we are where? Here. After deserves a golden globe for all his hard work. I've been enjoying all the games we've been playing lately. It's nice to... You know, play all sorts of different things. I'm actually having an itch to play um, more Skull and Bones tonight. Even after our next stream. I've, I've really been enjoying playing games. Been some good titles out this year so far. Like, most of them have been good. A few have been great. The cemetery is down by the docks? Or wait, maybe we have to go through there to, like, this area. Okay. Oh, damn, sir, you scared the hell out of- Bro, I almost killed you. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Oh wow, this dude this dude knows stuff. Oh, this is the trader. Okay, we can buy stuff from this dude. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Yes. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. Mm-hmm. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too, so much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before. But never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. Mm. I see. Yeah, this guy's big money masuk. He's getting ready to head out to the uh, farthest frontier with his wares. The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. 
Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> and you're leaving now? You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock. Did we arrive by leave sea. On the next available tide. No, dude. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Yeah, dude, we, we took an Uber from the airport, and we just got off, the got off our flight. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. So there is some sort of relationship thing. Sincere Merchant Neutral. This is the merchandise you may buy or sell. So maybe if we get a better relationship, he'll give us better prices or more goods, or we'll buy more of those goods or sell more. I don't know what's what yet, so I'm going to hold off on buying stuff. I have no idea. Like if these are super rare items or what. Thank you, sir. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. I said good day, sir. Oh, I've already been down here. All right. Yeah, good conversations between the characters. It's actually interesting to listen to them chat a little bit. It's not mundane. It's good. Rats. Uh-oh. the hell is that? A wisp. So close to town. A wisp? Cemetery's closed. See about that. Where are you leading me? Oh boy. Okay, whoa. I just want to block. I want to do parry block. Hit me with the stun lock. Oh, damn. We just gotta be aggressive with these guys. He dropped something. Oh, oh thank God! Finally, they tell me how to block Charlie. Still takes a little bit of health. There we go. That's the way it's done. Got it. That's how we'll do it. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. That was cool. All right, now we got that down. I feel like it should just be right click. 
But that's our heavy attack. Any items? Nope. I was hoping something would drop. Yeah, we'll have to be aggressive and then hit. Blocking is going to be kind of a later thing to do. Ooh. All right. Jump over there, okay. Dead end. It would suck if she just killed Charles. I have a feeling we're about to meet Charles. Or at least his soul or something. And he's going to be mad. Inside. As a banager, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in pro close proximity, elements... Your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Can you get that thing off my screen, please? Thank you. I just want to wander around and look at every nook and cranny because that's where all the loot's going to be. Like that. <laughs> That must just be water? Oh yeah. Moonlight shining off the water. They tricked the loot goblin in me. Bird. Oh, it's Charles. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. He's going to be mad. All right, find the nearby spectral mark. Find the place where Charles died. Well, that's his burial site. So we got to... Apparently he died in the cemetery fighting ghosts. Like, why the hell would you come here? Many dead in more recent years. Can I climb that ladder? Nope. Oh, there's the wisp. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Oh, does it now? How do we do that? Perform the ritual. Rituals. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the site determines which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources even if you select an incorrect ritual. Oh, so this is a little bit uh, phasmophobia going on. Got a little little phasmo, little little demonologist here, but like a combat game. Okay. Reveal the memories you need to perform a marketing ritual. So that's to find out what kind of a ritual to perform. Okay. Uh, reveal an echo. This ritual helps 
uh, anyone to tune into a fading but persistent memory left by a lingering ghost through the compelling words carving or uh, drawing of the Leo constellation. Okay. Make manifest. Using or knowing the uh, tie that binds a ghost to the incarnate is generally necessary. Such a ritual may be uh, channeled through compelling words, carving, or drawing of the Taurus constellation. Oh, okay. Summon Scourge. Force the summon to appear. Sustained through compelling words, carving, or drawing of the Aquila constellation. Ritual will force types of scourges like harvesters, rage, sorrow to reveal themselves. Oh, okay, so it's like a boss battle, or like maybe watch like a cutscene as to how they died or something like that. What I picked up earlier should suffice. So what do I want to perform? I guess we have to do the That's what I need. The Hark one. But before we do that, let's just look for resources just in case just in case there's a battle. I think we're good. This is where Charles died. Oh, this will be interesting. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? Everything you've ever feared. Oh my god, Disney. Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. Disney's no, purchasing another franchise, no. But neither do you. No! sort of demon. Alan Wake Viking Edition? Uh, I kinda, I suppose. There's lots of lore might be in here from other places. Charles's Bible. Uh, the tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. After closure performed by Antia, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. Do we want to sever the that tie? The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Return to Charles's grave. Okay. There's not like a hidden... No? More pie, right? Mmm, pie. Oh boy. It's my pie! What the hell's that? <laughs> Stupid balls. I got them. Okay, Charles's grave is down here to the left. Uh, 
Charles's Bible damp and snow covered in mud. Using or knowing the tie that binds a ghost to the incarnate is generally necessary. That's his Bible. Such ritual may be channeled through compelling words, carving, or drawing the Taurus constellation. Hmm. So it means the animations might be different depending on how they're getting rid of the ghost, maybe? Like here, it's just going to be in the ground, but... Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Hmm. Pocket sand. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And oh. I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend, I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. What did you learn about the curse? Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead. Yeah, are you French? There is Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. Mm. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained, but it won't stay locked up for long. Oh, we got all this lore now. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. Oh, really? So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Interesting. This is like the speak with the dead... Uh, section in... Baldur's Gate 3. I also heard the combat of this game is like a previous game that they made called, I think it's Vampire, with a few other things that they made before, which is cool. Apparently, people really liked them. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising, despair growing. There were so many dead and dead, so much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was wow. no more time. Vampire is simply amazing. Oh, really? I hear good things about some of the other things that they made. I do like it when some game devs might not get super popular games, but they put they put everything into it, and quite a few people know about it. Not everybody's played it, but like everybody's like, oh yeah, like that. That seems cool. Like, it's good. Not everything has to I be a quadruple A game. Nightmare 
is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Hmm. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. Charles, you were reading three million books. We saw your house. You're pretty damn thorough, dude. You own a library. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Same. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. Oh, like TikTok. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. Right. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. Mm hmm yeah. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... Laugh. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost. And I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your idea. Wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves.
Charles Davenport. You have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Very touching. <laughs> Girl, don't watch this. Turn around. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. What's up, Woodstorm? Welcome aboard, dude. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. I think we're going to get ambushed on the way. Okay, we made it. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I'm glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Back at the inn. Now this is her house. Massive house, dude. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May oh. I ask yours? Is this that ghost Duarte. lady? Duarte. Oh. Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You're what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. That's Sheba Ingersoll, or I was the last time I looked. Okay, ma'am. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze. And at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort. But I'm afraid I would be lying. It may seem like an odd question, 
But may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? Wow. That is a very detailed dream. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I have lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Oh. Is she another shopkeep? Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. Mm -hmm. And that makes me a fool. Thank you, ma'am. I thought she was going to have a store where we could buy stuff. You, You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? We need some casting sand, yeah. Hey, ma'am. <laughs> My boat from Skull and Bones is parked out front. Does anybody here have spices or casting sand? I'm going to need some tension springs. I'm not asking twice, people. Let's load it up. Damn it. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get my, uh, my big old uh, snow ship, okay? And if I don't get answers, then I'll tell the Dutch where you live. Vanisher's Techniques. What's he doing? Oh, there's my lightsaber. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you. Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Well, yeah. Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Hmm. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Yeah, we need to grab Make some rum. Make no mistake. They steal life's essence from the living. Hmm. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. If the man. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to... You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. 
steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, you <laughs> wouldn't Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is he already dead in a ghost? Is this like gonna be like fifth element? I mean, uh, fifth element. <laughs> it's gonna be like um, the sixth sense. <laughs> hmm. I would. Then I'd kill you again for dying before I do. Sometimes you scare me. I know. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a, what did he call it, a nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. One of them is dead, or... Someone will die along the way. There's going to be a difficult decision here at some point. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Oh, do we get to play as him now? Antea? She took her firebane. <clears throat> she says I'm the reckless one. Oh, we get to play as both characters? Badass. Maybe they have different uh, play styles. <gasps> death to the dead. We're going to make them die to death. That's cool. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, are you? He dreaming? It was all a dream. He used to read Word Up magazine. Part of town is closed. Hear the bell. Who's there? Antea? Looks like we're going the right way. Got there alone. Spectres have seen Antea, have you?
All right, let's get up to the uh, meeting house. Bert. Come on, I don't want to parry this. Come on. That's ah, great. There we go. Got him. Squeak. Yeah, little, little rats are around. Nothing like a good parry. Mm hmm. Feels good. That ain't her. This is gonna be that lady. She's disguised herself. What? Ma'am, I'm gonna come in there and kick your ass. I know it's not a thea. Or Antia, whatever name. Three Becky. I know. Whatever my girlfriend's name is. Or whatever. Wife? That's it. I'm coming in there. Boss battle. See how they run. See how they there. Blind or blind. Oh, red, can't you see? We never stood a chance. Matea. You hurt? Where are you? I'm here, my love. What happened? <laughs> I knew it. I'm here, my love. How mundane. Show yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clearing out the boss battle arena. That's nice. Now we got more area to maneuver. Thank you, ma'am. Boss battle. Elm ring.
Get help. Let me love you. Oh, what the hell's the real one? Oh my God. Whoa, ma'am, the combo. Okay. This is much more advanced combat than the beginning. This is going to be awesome. Three this, is very, blind this is very good. Three blind oh, this is going to be cool. I, I wasn't expecting the combat to actually be challenging. This is good. We are not your enemy. Damn, lady. It was a ruse. <laughs> Ma'am? That's gotta be the real one. <laughs> oh, damn it, she got me. Oh my god. Where's Anthea? If you laid a finger on her. You what? Come to her aid? Oh. There is no aid. There is oh. only. Oh. Retribution. Give him back. Touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manner, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. Oh, damn. No! to her aid now when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting.
The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight Whoa. of his failure dragged him down. This is really good. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Wendy's. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. What an intro. I was not expecting it to go down like that. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! Oh, the scene from the beginning of the game. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. We. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but... I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever. But do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare. You've lost your beloved. And now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and then answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. She's a witch. Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. Sir Hedin, this little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Sir Ridian. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular, and while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. This nightmare, how it spoke, how it tore right through her. I've never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. A friend said that. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. Have 
faith. You say that you do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. Is she gonna get on a broom? me Hellblade vibes, even though this, this has nothing to do with Hellblade. This is giving me the vibes of just like cool lore, cool sword play, and just like dark and this is really cool. Oh, what is I this? don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Oh, this is some end game stuff here. Maybe we have to beat a certain number of bosses or something. Each of those symbols could be a boss. Oh, is this going to be like Shadow of the Colossus? <laughs> if you read this, that means that one, you have enough brain to know your alphabet. You, you have not uh, resisted going through what I l left behind. True. You may take whatever you deem useful since my mistress wants you to live. We shall meet again. Until then, be well. Hard ass. She knows my inner loot goblin. So this witch was sent to basically find us and aid us. Prevent us from dying. Damn it, man. This game's getting cooler by the minute. Oh. Our ship's destroyed. Great. Damn, does that look nice. Yeah, where do we find the casting sand? Is that here, though? <laughs> this is the strangest island we've been to so far in Skull and Bones. We've got to find casting sand and uncut rubies. Does anyone have that? Because I need to buy the next tier ship. I need more spice, too. we got to get that quest done. we only got 26 hours left on it.
Dude, I like. So this is what's cool about this game, right? There's a little clunkiness with. Like, there's just a little. There's just a little bit of like not polish to it, but it's not because the developers didn't care. You can tell there's passion and care here, but there just wasn't an endless amount of budget and time. But they care, and I feel that way about um, Plague Tale as well, where it's like it's a very good game. There is a clunkiness to it, and I can actually kind of feel a little bit of that in God, like the first God of War, you know, the first new God of War. Just, just a smidge, but that doesn't make it bad. That just means that it's like you could tell they were trying to do something new and couldn't get it quite right. They were doing something so different and new that everything had to be built from the ground up and that they had to do some, some different things with it. Oh yeah, that's that's some of that Resident Evil stuff there. Damn it. What am I doing here? But here they're paying homage to a few things from horror games that I like. So now we got like an open world to explore. Oh hell, we're nowhere near where we were. The hell is this? Oh damn. We are far away. Bro, that witch clapped us right over here. We fell into the ocean. This lady took us all the way over here. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I hear this game is about a 20 hour game as well. Which I feel like is just about right. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. A little Alan Wake in here? Yeah. For sure. Ends of the Earth. Find your way. like something to climb here or maybe I can drop down from up there it shows up and down though oh maybe right there I like how the game started out with giving us just kind of like a hey go explore here some of the game mechanics and then it kind of like reels us in for a story for a little bit and sets things up that way that is a very good setup well done Does it show up, dog? What's up, dog? Oh, you got me. What, do we keep all the stuff that we had before the... Oh, yeah. We got all the stuff before we quote-unquote died. Threat indicator. Oh, yeah. Leave me up. Come on, you mongrels. <laughs> Got a skill point. Well, I thought it was just going to be ghosts. <laughs> now you know what that means. Where there's wolves. In 1600s Americas, there has got to be the other four legged fiend that seems to always be in any game that I'm playing. probably be a giant final boss battle enemy bear hunting case oh haunting cases <gasps> oh what oh these oh these are like solving cases that was that was just like <laughs> that was just like step one wow I got a skill point but I don't know how to spend it yet
Maybe it's under evolution. Maybe the witch will teach us later. You think we'll see a ghost bear? Am I the last bloody living soul here? Maybe this game has things where you can come back later. I thought there'd be a pull, uh, like a path to get up there. Maybe we'll get a grappling hook or something later. I kind of want to go back up there, but I didn't see the way. Chest. This will do well on our ship. Lilac pieces of eight and leather. Loot Goblin mode activate. Alpha Wolf. Hey. Okay, come on. Beat your ass. Leave me alone. What? That's here? Oh no. Are we gonna have to choose to eventually ban her? <laughs> Another skill point. T, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships for YouTube chat. Thank you very much. They want us to go that way. So we're going to go this way. Because that's where the loot be. Yeah, Lumberjack Samurai. Yeah. Puppies, I know.
They say crazy witch stuff that happened around that time was caused by wheat crop getting damp and hallucinations caused by fungus that grew on them. Oh, really? People going crazy due to wheat? Imagine that. I've heard of something like that. We must be able to get up there. Let's go check on that real quick. I thought there wasn't a way up there. Can't drop down. Okay. Kitty. Well, it looks like we can't get up there. There's definitely something there to crawl up to, but maybe we're supposed to crawl... There's something at the... There's something there, so we're supposed to maybe go up and then get down? There's got to be a way to get up there. I think we'll come back there later then. I think I was right. We'll have to get there somehow from the top and go down. Alright, let's see where we're going. There's just bears up there. They're better... They're bared or not be. Okay, so we just went that way, so let's go this way. to you. Where am I? Where am I? Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm. 
I'm here. Lead me to you. Mystical caves. Uh oh. You're standing under the waterfall, sweetheart. <laughs> you gotta come out of there. Oh, there you are. Sweetie. Right here. My love. Right here. Oh, he's starting to hallucinate. Did he have some of that wheat? It's you. She did die. I have you. You have me. Home. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow. Me. Where are you going? Over here. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Where have you gone? Antea! Seems like something for the witches. Honey, if you find any loot, can you, like, pick it up for me? You seem weak. You need... Rest. I feel hollow. Do not be troubled. How could I not be? Mm. To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible. The tie that bound his ghost. remains upon it. For now, it will do me.
I needed this. I feel better. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. Uh oh. Glad you're back. No. Truly. You remember what she said. Truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. She's only gonna get hungrier. The hard way. You can't keep her around, you bro. Never told me this. What happened? You gotta banish her. It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. Are you still hungry? I'm hollow. As if I were filled with emptiness. Mm -hmm. So the essence Charles left on his Bible was useless. Consuming his tie did make me feel better. But I'll need more. Much more. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. Mm -mm. What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing, but... After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Seeker. Mm -mm. A witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. Mm -mm. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. By you and me both. Very interesting choice of words. Wow, you gotta go, ma'am. This is gonna be bad time. Sorry, sorry about the death. That that ghost got you good, dude. She she got her with the one and done. She should have parried. She knew damn well that she could have hit space to dodge roll, or she could have hit C to to basically block parry. But instead, she just shift W keyed towards the window. You know, I mean. She should have been paying attention to the damn tutorial. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. No, we could do that right here. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. What? In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Wait, how do we know that her body is her tie? Couldn't it be her, her swords or something? Like, for Charles, it was his Bible. For her, couldn't it be... Couldn't it be like an inanimate object? Then we do the ritual? In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Hmm. Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me, and I'd bring you back. Red, it's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in mm. large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe. We could consider it. I mean... If there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. 
to think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, Mother. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close. Oh, now we unlocked our skill points. There we go. What the hell are these? Essence and skill points. Unveil. Tag team. Oh, damn, it's co-op now. Get it, girl? Uh, the fourth light attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistance. Oh, we can cut through a block? Pocket of... Oh, no. Maximum decoction cha uh, charges is increased by one. Well... Each of these seem to cost one. Invigorate. Banishing an enemy increases the damage of the next heavy attack by 200%. Unrelenting. Each enemy hit by a light attack increases damage of the light attacks by 10. Effect can be uh, accumulated for sets on being hit. Really? These are good. Hmm. Interesting. I like the uh, ignores... Okay, well, we got to go with this one first. Of all. Not dying is really good. And then what does that unlock? Swift banish. Banish points or gain, uh, gains are increased by 20%, but banish damage reduced by 20. Arch heavy attacks trigger an area of effect dealing physical damage. Was oh, that an AoE attack in all directions? That seems directional. What's up, Skittle Sour? Hello. I like the light attack combo. Each attack lit hit by the light attack increases the damage of it by 10. That seems OP as hell. And this is just a base thing that we have now. Antia can show, uh, can allow Red to see the world from the other side of the veil and uncover, oh, ethereal elements such as spectral stains or webs. In combat, uh, she can deal increased damage possessed corpses unveil manifest a manifestation has been unlocked after the consumption of the essence soaking charles's tie cool i wonder if we'll have to go to the fire each time to like upgrade yeah we got a ghost girlfriend now i think i saw this in a movie once Upgrade your equipment. Oh, we can do that too. Oh, that's what we use the um, all the items for. This game just keeps getting better. Shelters allow you to upgrade your equipment via the inventory menu. Inventory evolution re uh, reset. Oh, uh, rest. Uh, rest to make time go forward. Charges will replenish and crafting resources. Oh, enemies will respawn. Elden Ring. Fast travel? Oh my god. Game's cool as hell. Upgrade your equipment. Upgrading equipment improves bonuses but requires resources. You can access the upgrade menu by hovering over equipment slot or pressing F. We get a rifle? Oh hell yeah, brother. Game of the damn year. This is, a, hell, is this Hell Divers 1? Oh hell yeah. Amulet, wristband, brooch, bane ring. Oh, we can get upgrades for that. Oh, we can upgrade that. Oh. Wait. Damage taken by red reduced by 5%. Oh, is that what the upgrade will do? We can drink it and then also reduces damage incoming? Cool. Melee attack damage increased by 5%. Fourth light attack... And heavy attack damage is increased by 50. 
that in combination with that skill we just got for the 10 percent but is that only when i use well light attacks with the sword Damage taken reduced by five. I'm gonna go with the uh, with this one. I think. Oh, and then it'll unlock more rudimentary common. We need more spectral dust. That's a pretty damn good upgrade. Outfit. Oh, this requires lilac and uh, other stuff. Oh, our physical resistance will go from 14 to 17. Strength 5 to 8. Dexterity from 2 to 5. Vitality from 4 to 10. Oh my god. And melee da attack damage increase. <laughs> oh. Give me them new clothes. We gotta get some sort of scourge something or other for tier 2. Cool. <laughs> Unlock bitter ballin. Yeah. But nothing we can do for this at the moment. This we can upgrade with uh, some leather and stuff. Okay. We can upgrade a few things. All right, cool. This is cool. Very well done. Oh boy. On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. Oh yeah, girl, we're a team. We're a team. What the hell happened here? Oh, I don't... Uh, ooh. Oh, bear. Bear. Nope, I don't need to use no resource. Yep. Nope. Don't need to do no investigation. I know damn well what's going on. Freaking bear. Mm-hmm. I see no bodies. Maybe the wolves took him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. You cooties. Whoa. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible oh. and the incarnate. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Oh, I can play as her by hitting Q, and then we can go in Batman mode. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. These years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. Interesting. Each of the occultist's equipment, great. Bloody demonologists and their shabby rituals. Must be a helipad for the demonologists to land into their cave. Saw that in a Bond movie. Little Nelly. I feel a draft. Oh. From the invisible. Oh, so without her we wouldn't be able to see this. Oh my god. She's an assistant loot goblin. Oh, girl, I got five more of that spectral dust. Can I go back and upgrade? 
Back at the fire. Oh, this game's cool, dude. This is really cool. I, it started out like pretty okay, and I was like, yeah, this, this seems cool. But um, it's cooler than I thought. We gotta get an upgrade. So that was for the weapons. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Now we're ready to kick ass. I need to go back and see if there's stuff. There is. I want to go back and keep scanning. There's probably nothing back here, but... as far as we can go back. How the hell did her soul get here? Like, I guess we ended up here because the witch... I don't know, maybe, maybe the witch rescued us outside the church in the water and then brought us here because it was safer. Apparently it's been weeks, so that... That nightmare lady's probably taken over the town. She's probably done... She's done unspeakable things. Like, I'm talking about, like... Like when EA purchases a game studio. Those types of things. Like when a franchise is acquired by Disney. Those types of things. Unspeakable acts of treachery. And inhumane... I don't want to think about it. Cool. That's so cool how we can become her or him just by doing that. Bear cave. Bear battle, frickin' bear. It's a bear. Fight them together. Oh, really? All right, let's do it. Damn, she beat an ass. Oh, she... Okay, her punching does more damage to possess corpses. All right, that's what that was. That's why that dude popped out. Oh, she can't block, though. She can't block. She can only dodge. No block. Hell yeah, we did. We did. Thank you. I wasn't much use. You were. I promise. You get better. Things will get better. Something's here. Hidden. Oh, sweet. Game's cool. I like it. A lot of layers here. This is like a, a Gordita Crunch. Oh, what is this? Goblin mode. Something's concealed. Oh. 
I feel something close. Ooh, demonologist note two. Uh, me and Indrid are having trouble with this boss in the hospital. I wish Raptor and Jerry were here because they're the best. Or... They always end up mucking around with black magic. They do. Always. Those two always do. Phasmophobia, demonologist. I can't. W I, I don't know why they just don't play more kebab sim. I really don't know. You ask him if you can run a small business, and it's like, no, we're too busy running a small business. You're holding the Twitch chat hostage? Uh oh. Oh, it took the key to get that. Spiritual necklace. There better not be a Balrog down here. Need to unlock the Dino Nugget again. I think we have the Dino Nugget emote on Twitch. I mean, it doesn't work on Twitch where the more Twitch subs you get, the more emotes you get too. Same as YouTube, so. If we pump those numbers up, we'll put more, more in there for sure. That sounded like a bear. I'm sorry, but the world of the dead is prettier. Look at those fall colors. Damn. That specter. It's heading for that corpse. Oh no. You're not occupying that damn body. Damn it, I missed him. Uh, specters may attempt to possess corpses. You can interrupt the possession. Oh, that's cool. to worry about. Wait. Watch out. Spectre possession. Devil take you. Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion, or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. Maybe all of those things, probably. Things are looking pretty bad. That's gotta be a bear. So much pyrite. What's up, girl? Hunting gear. There might be a lodge nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to for both of us. Ooh. 
we're gonna get a gun. Print for a sloop, yeah. And they, uh, will people be able to tell I'm haunted? Perhaps, if they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. That's true. I wonder what happened to the trappers around here? The woods are swarmed with spectres. Hopefully, they left. More loot, yeah. Bear Battle Arena. There's going to be bears down there. Am I alive or dead? Well, this character, Red, is perhaps alive? Now, this could be the type of game where it'll make a twist at the end and be like, no, dude, you were dead the whole... Both of you were dead the whole time. And this was just a dream. I'd be like, oh. I hope it doesn't go down that route, though. That's too dumb. But I think we're going to have to eventually. These witches you mentioned must know her. something about the nightmare. Oh, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. It sounds like an elk, not a bear. It's a bear. I think I see a crossing over there. Signs of civilization. Look at me. Nice place. Wolves and specters aside. Don't you have wolves and specters in the highlands? I but I have the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Hmm. You don't have the required manifest uh, manifest manifestation to unlock this path yet. Oh, okay. So we'll need some sort of a special skill. Cool. So we'll have to come back to several areas several times. Up, Emma. Bad news. The bridge is out. And we'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. Uh. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. Well, that's what's called bear sign. Like this is how you know the bears have been here. The bears are the one who destroyed the bridge. I have strong ankles, but at this height, we're gonna make it. I have strong ankles, oh. but at this height, we're gonna make it. You can't make that jump. And up and down we go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. The hell is that?
get back up. They're vexed now. Ready and waiting. Oh, we can just we can just obliterate them now. We are so strong. Oh yeah. Just clapped. Wow. You know, I gotta say, this bridge clock. I know. I don't know if I trust this. Bridge crossing is kind of a red flag, really. I don't know. How do I get that thing down? Have to come back later and shoot something with range. I have a ranged weapon. Bear. There's someone inside. Someone tainted. You need a air freshener. Ben, you're back. Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad. But no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You a hunter? Of sorts. Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Mm hmm. What are you doing here? And you know we're safer. The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. Hmm. Winter? This is June. Is it? Could have sworn it was. I'm sorry. On my own, I lose track of time. And with your friend? Oh. You met Ben, did you? He was just here, he was. Just here. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. 
James Lowe and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Lots of games on Steam. Did, did Ben install Steam? What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That... and the fog. Can't hunt anything you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. Mm -hmm. Ben's probably dead, so... Yo, hey, what's up, Richard? Welcome back, dude. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I? And me to him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. Hmm. You're exhausted. Unsurprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No. No. It's a nightmare. Nothing more. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's the soup. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. Uh oh. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Haunting cases. You've started your first haunting case. Must investigate the ghost that haunts Jacob. Use the notification shortcut to open the haunting cases tab to follow the investigation. Ooh. Game looks so good. I love Vampire, so have to get this. This has been great. I did not play Vampire. I heard about it, but this is a lot of fun. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Oh. Kind of you. Thank you. Dirty rope mainly used to descend safely from dangerous cliffs. Well, we can go back to the bridge then and go down. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Doesn't work. sleep here Jacob Ben sleeps here I don't sleep whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots we should talk to this Ben fellow oh there to you Jacob Mr. McCraith sir farewell to you Mr. I thought we were supposed to talk to him more farewell Drops. Mr. McCraith sir farewell welcome back as a raptor egg thank you very much and an orange eye now, stepping up from the purple. Cool. Alright, let's go to the hauntings menu. Ooh, there's going to be multiple cases. The trappers, find Benedict Fountain? Oh, whatever. Uh oh, ghost, one of three. want us to go out here. He's so confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him?
Maybe his mate abandoned him. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisha rule number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. Mm, that could be. That meat was probably him, you think so? Oh, it was a trap. Piss off. Damn right. My loot and booty. Hell yeah. What if Ben is oh what if, what if Ben's the elk that's calling? What if Ben's a bear? Ben and bear are basically spelled with the same letters. All of them are the same. You might be able to drop down from here. I think we're good. Drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this quick mist is thicker than a Scotch dragoon. It smells almost as bad. Wait, that's, that's better and a little terrifying. Did you feel that? It's close. I could show you the way. Just saying. Hmm. No more loot? No, oh, it's locked. Investigate the quick mist. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd looking stalagmites. Uh oh. of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Damn. <laughs> wow, get Back down to hell. find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Mm, traces of a struggle. Oh. An echo hangs on it. Uh-oh. Did Ben go crazy and kill him? Or did Jacob go crazy and kill him? Right, let's find out what happened. 
Time for an investigation. I think he died here. A scale Foga smile. I can. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't I'm give up. up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What are you doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! I knew it. Ben died in the fall. Yep. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. Jacob delusional. Did he really forget what he did? Yeah. Maybe his Maybe guilt later. got the better of his reason. We need to find the body. If the wolves haven't gotten there first. Uh oh. Boss battle with Ben. We're gonna have to go down that way. So his friend pushed him. Oh, because he was a little hangry. Gonna be a boss battle. I feel something close. Shite on a short stick. Bloody hell. Man's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Oh my god. Good thing we didn't have the stew. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Good thing we didn't have the stew. Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Oh my god. Poor desperate starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. He pushed him off the cliff and then started carving up the arm and the leg. Wow. Wow. This game's really cool.
I have another in sight. Get out of there! Damn. We got some good... Good magical powers, y'all. and it wants it for its own. Can I join in too? Hell yeah. I beat some ass. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. What could it be? Yes, so disgusting. In the box? Oh God. Hand whittled wooden bowl and spoon used by Jacob. The tie is doused with the essence of his ghost. Once closure has, has severed the ghost bond of the world, the essence will automatically consume by uh, Antia to make her stronger. What? I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Right here. All right, Ben, we have some questions. Dude, this is cool. It's like go ghost investigation, but it doesn't even seem like that at all. It's so cool that they wove combat into... Well, no. Combat does not seem like an afterthought. Chant the words of power that will make the ghost manifest. Uh, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. You're not Jacob. Hello. I thought you were supposed to be really tall. You're about my height, bro. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? I'm Thea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. I don't know when things changed. We got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous, mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. Hmm. 
We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost in mind and reason. Who would not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want? What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. What does he need that he may let go? He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us. And we are doomed. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. His denial runs strong. Must have loved Ben very much. I want what's in the box. Give me, give me what's in the box. What's in the box? Jacob, get your ass over here. Oh, there you are. Who oh, there's you, Jacob? Mr. McCraith, sir. You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift some time, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. Oh, oh. uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ben wanted to leave. You argued. Mm-hmm. Remember? Ben's out and about right now. We don't argue, you know. One time, a storm caught us napping. Sidelong hailstones and everything. We was lost. But we found our way. Even then, Ben never said a word in anger. Even though I slowed him down. Has he lost his mind, or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. Come on. If something's happened, Ben, say so. Where is he? Uh, you want to take a look in this bowl? Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No. I would never... I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me. What happened on that cliff top? 
I was tired. So tired. Hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. We don't give up. We don't give in. But I wanted to. I wanted it all to stop. Mm -hmm. So you made it stop. Do you remember now? I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry. So angry. He kept pushing me. We kept. We argued. And I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, It was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first, and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill to be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Whoa. Uh, you reach the closure of a haunting case. As a banisher, you must decide. Blame the haunted inhabitant, send the ghost, or banish the ghost. Each choice will have consequences, specifically on the way Red and Antia evolve as a couple. Oh, shit. If Red wishes to bring Antia back to life, he must blame the largest number of living settlers. Oh, wow. Just being, just being forthright here. Just accuse everybody and... Then bring back Bay. All this just to get Bay back? So basically, we have to choose the ending of the game now. Wow. Jacob. He will sacrifice the settler with a blame ritual. This decision will contribute to Antia's resurrection, since a resurrection ritual will only work if the largest number of settlers are sacrificed. Sacrificed? killing him? 
You will gently let the ghost ascend from this world with a ri release ritual. This decision will contribute to Antia's ascent. So either we let her ascend peacefully, or we bring her back to life. I think... I feel like her ascending is going to be pretty straightforward, and it'll just be... She's just happy, and that's that. But if we bring her back to life, there's going to be consequences. There's... You can't get nothing, you know... You can't get something for free. You don't get nothing for free. Ain't gonna happen. Wow. Or banish. You will forcibly banish the ghost of the Oblivion with a banishment ritual. This decision will contribute to Antia's ascent. Well, in a brief moment of anger, he essentially committed murder. That would be either a manslaughter charge or, I mean, that would come down to trial, but basically... This is what we're supposed to do if we want to bring back Bay. But my personal belief is Benedict Stoughton, in the face of life's inexplicable hardships, at times to stay alive, yeah, it's like a trial. Terrible things. In his despair, your best friend stole your life. Then he compounded his sin. He fed on your flesh. Confessing his sins, he offered to forfeit his life. He has told the truth. You may go in peace. We were trapped. The snare was set to kill us slow. Jacob, my friend, my only friend. I forgive all. I forgive everything. It's over, Jacob. Ben's gone for good. Ben's been gone a long time. I know that now. I need to give him his last rites. Please. I need to be alone. It's over. The tie will sustain me a little longer. Jacob, would you mind if I rest inside a while? Suit yourself. I think I've already decided the end of the game already. Uh, did I look into an ending, or does it look like uh, if you sacrifice 75% of all will work or something like that? I don't know, they said that we have to sacrifice the most amount, or like, basically give them the bad ending to get ourselves a good ending. I've already made my decision, though. I know how this is going to end. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. If it's one of the first cases, it'll be harder and harder. Choices in the end, I think you're right. And now we can take $15.
read that before, yeah. Well, let's upgrade. <laughs> now the looting begins, yes. Oh, now, it, oh. Oh, there's completely different trees. Antia can cross uh, portals and act like shortcuts that are invisible to the incarnate. In combat, she can dash towards enemies dealing small amount of damage. Oh, that's a new, like, free unlock. Fourth heavy attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistance. I, I want fast attacks. Pairing restores 15 spirit points. I like that. Each enemy hit by a punch attack increases the damage of punch attacks by 7%. Oh good, like a, a spam punch attack. Pretty good too because it'll knock them out of their... Uh, a quick attack could lock them into a stun lock. So thus you'll continue to do damage and then they don't get to. Sounds like a good deal. Damage dealt by red is increased by 30% against all full health enemies. Good too. Oh wait, we don't have these. We don't have essence. We only have... So we can't invest these yet. We can only get these so far. Alright, let's get that one. Uh, switch to into your right after a front dodge to trigger a melee attack that will ignore resistance. Also, oh, it costs 15 spirit points. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 15% the higher the health points gauge. Oh, the higher our health, the more our damage. Pretty good. Hmm. I don't think we got anything new we can upgrade yet. Now we need to get Scourge Acc Accretion. Oh, it looks like we can get different types of rings. Oh, an amulet upgrade. Did I miss that from before? Damage taken by Antia is reduced by 5%. Ooh. Can't wait till we get a, uh, a gun, brother. That man killed and ate his friend. He did, yes. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Just like you. Just like me. How do you feel? I feel trapped. Locked into an embrace with a nightmare. I crave. I crave essence. With it, I'd not so fast decay. With it, I'd not so quickly become one of those stupid bloody specters. Hmm. Well, I think we made the right choice. We're going to deal with things by a case-by-case -case basis. We came here to give these people closure and to do the right thing. We made the right choice. We made it together. Taking a life is no small matter. When I ascend, we'll be separated. For the rest of your life. Maybe for the rest of eternity. Never again shall we stand side by side. This we, this thing we have, shall cease to be. Oath. Red is about to swear an oath to Antia, and together they will choose her fate. Choices you make when bringing closure impact your chances to fulfill the promise made to one another. Remember, you remain free to make any choice you want, 
when bringing closure, no matter the oath you've sworn, as long as you're ready to face the consequences. What? So now we're going to tell her what path we intend to go down. But we can deviate from that, and that will have consequences too. Essentially like lying. Ascend. Red swears he'll help Antia's ghost peacefully leave this world once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. Resurrection. Red swears he'll help Antia come back to life once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. Keep this oath. Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with the blame ritual. Well, no matter what path we go down, when we beat this game, I think we'll just watch a, like an alternative ending. That kind of thing. You know, like we'll watch whatever ending we don't get. But in this case, we have to move forward. Right. That's that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. For soon, you'll release me. I'll have my assent. I hardly want to let you go. I know, but you must. Keeping her around is dangerous. I am a shadow, caged and fading. You are still here? Still you? We could- Jacob Lynn's essence called to me. I knew it wrong, but I desired it. There lies perdition for both of us. I cannot abide what I have become. I don't want to abandon you, but I must. Are they about to make pottery? I saw this in a movie once. So be it, my love. We'll reclaim your body. Now have your ascent. I swear it. Ooh. A good game. We should definitely keep playing this one. This is good. Great combat, cool investigation stuff, lots of choices. This is a another surprise 2024 banger. Like I just kind of wanted to try this and see what it would be like, but now now I want to like go all the way through. So if you agree with that, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, become a member, follow, and join me for our next stream starting now for Hell Divers 2. I think we'll come back to this one tomorrow or at least this is one that is on my list to complete for sure very very much very much for sure all right guys we're going to jump into our next stream now with hopefully lumberjack dirty and red for hell divers 2 but banished uh, is quite a really good game banished ghost of new eden very nice all right we'll see you all in uh, just a few moments for our next stream hang out here if you're in the twitch chat we'll be back in a moment otherwise on youtube uh, i'll live redirect you youtube probably won't but come hang out as we preserve democracy brother Hell yeah. I'll see you all in a bit. Let's go.